and welcome back to Fairview Farm. It is May the 6th and uh, we have a very big piece of kit coming into the farm uh, to try out something uh, that's happening in the local area. We've recently had a pelleting plant built not too far away uh, and they want to come and do some of the pelleting on our farm. They'll pay us to do it. So uh, what they've asked us to do is get some hay cut. Uh, they're going to be here in a couple of weeks. So uh, what I'm trying to do at the moment is get the grass cut so that we can then go pellet, uh, so that we can then get uh, this equipment over here and get pellets made. So we're going to be cutting all three of our grass fields today and getting the tether on them. Uh, it's quite exciting. It's going to be the biggest equipment that has ever been on this farm. I mean, our little reform here is the most powerful tractor we've ever had on the farm. And this is 110 horsepower. My understanding is that the tractor that's going to be here uh, is going to be like 350 horsepower. And, uh, and the way we're going to be doing it is uh, we are going to be... Uh, doing the carting for it so they'll be going around uh they'll be setting uh they'll be getting their equipment here they'll uh, go around the field and uh, i'm i'm really looking forward to this come on let's pull this gate in there we are and yeah i'm uh, i'm really looking forward to to seeing what this piece of kit can do it's not a piece of kit that we can particularly buy on here but the idea of making, uh, diversifying our income around here and having them come in uh, maybe once a year and, uh, and do, some, uh, do some pelleting and, and stuff like that, that uh, really appeals to me. So, um, yeah, we're going to get round. We're going to cut this field and, uh, and then we'll uh, get the tether out on it. This little tractor is running so much nicer now that we got it back from the workshop. I don't know what was wrong with it when we first got it, but yeah, everything is running so much better now. Uh, it's not conking out. It's uh, it's running uh, really well. And just look at the maneuverability around these corners. Uh, I don't have to do any reversing or anything like that to get a nice square corner with this. We just go up to the point where uh, we get the width of the cutter uh, at left at the end. Uh, turn, and it will just do a 90-degree turn. In fact, I should probably be lifting the, uh, the mower when we do it. So we get to this point here, lift it, turn, and look at that. Just puts us straight in the right position for the next... Uh, the next bit of the headland I would have had to have gone back and forth and turned around a lot with the 7810 to get that clean a cut in the corner it is just such a fantastic piece of kit this tractor so in this top corner here I've actually done quite a little bit of maneuvering tried to just get this uh, extra little bit that we've got sticking out here uh, lined up so actually four rows in and that just means i can now go round do the third headland uh without too much issue we need to do a third and a fourth headland here uh this new building is presenting a little bit of a, an interesting uh conundrum and i actually my maneuvering round here wasn't so great earlier uh but uh, yeah, it's it's just a little bit weird having to maneuver around this brand new shed that we we got built over the last few months. This is our first cut of the year, and it's first cut we've had with this here. So uh, learning how to best cut this field with this this new bit sticking into here is uh, is quite interesting. I think we might end up uh, just smoothing that corner off a little bit just to make things just a touch easier on us so i just about got this work figured out now it is pick it up in the corner turn around try and keep as close in as i can line myself up on the next one 
down and in again and yeah the efficiency of this little reform uh, is just fantastic it's i was so stuck in my ways about whether i should have a tractor like this on the farm uh that actually having on the farm has been a massive massive surprise to me uh i i didn't realize that uh it could speed things up as much as it does but then this tractor is very much built for this kind of work it is a uh grass tractor or tractor for designed for doing hay and silage work um and specifically designed for doing it in mountainous terrain uh, they're very much constructed for use in uh, the Alps and uh, and that kind of, uh, of area. And as a result, they are very good at handling bits like this where we've got a lot of slopes, but we've also uh, got a lot of rough terrain and where you need to have really good maneuverability uh, and small power amounts uh, in order to uh, to fully be able to do those kind of regions. Uh, it is just a really great compact little tractor. Before we continue, this video is brought to you in partnership with the awesome people at Apex Gaming PCs. I've teamed up with Apex Gaming PCs to create my own custom line of PCs suitable for everybody from beginner farmers to virtual farming experts. The Apex Gaming PCs are offering up to $250 off your next purchase just by using my link in the description below. So go check them out. I have seen tedding setups for this tractor where they have a front mower set up on, uh, on the, the front of this uh, and then the tether at the back. And rather than having to go round the field twice and doing a, uh, a tedding run and a, and a mowing run, you just do the whole thing at once. Uh, really tempting actually to see if we can get that kind of setup on here and uh, and get a front mower i might speak to our uh the speak to the guys down the shop see if there's something we can get for that a 60 horsepower 70 horsepower mower on the front of this uh would very much allow us to run the tether behind and uh, and give us a, a really good uh, and speedy run through this. I mean, running, doing things at speed and getting stuff done quickly isn't a huge amount of, uh, of issue around here. Uh, but if we're looking to expand the farm, if we're looking to add another field to the farm, then uh, definitely that would be something that uh, would make, potentially make quite a big difference to us here. And that is the bottom half of the field pretty much done. Just a little bit of cleanup to do. I'm just going to head back up the field so that we can uh, cut these two little triangles. Is it? Well, the field moves a bit, and yeah, I was pretty straight on uh, on what I cut, uh, thankfully. But we needed to just clean up a little bit, and so that's nice and straight. And that is almost everything cut just got this little tuft here let's just spin around that and then yeah up the top and i'm going to cut in uh at this top half here following this line and uh we'll cut across and that hopefully should be at a similar sort of angle don't know if it is to be honest difficult to tell from up here but this will cut this in half so that should be fine actually i wasn't too bad this is uh pretty straight on uh what i do need to do though is the top end of the field wasn't quite so much so it's lining up and cutting in at the right point uh, which here is not that easy we're okay and yeah, we're, we're keeping things pretty straight at this point. Doesn't matter so much because we're going to be running over this with the tether and then uh, re-rowing it up later. Um, but at the moment, I'm, I'm quite happy. Keeping this as straight as I possibly can, running 
as much across the slope of this field as I can. I mean, this bit here, definitely we're going up the slope, but we run across the slope for mo the most part on this field. And, uh, and these straight lines work out pretty well for us. The lengths of our two sections now are a little bit mismatched. So I'm going round this lower section and getting that cut and finished off. Uh, and then we'll go up to the top end of the field and get that cut and finished off. I think there's basically one more row to go on this by the looks of things. And if that is the case, that has got really well aligned. Yeah, I think, yeah, we can get all of this in in one row, certainly at the top end here. I don't know if that's going to be the case the further down the field we get. That might be wider. It might not. Yeah, it's a little bit wider. So we've got a very small bit left that we're going to have to run up the middle of the field and get. Not perfect by no means perfect but uh well enough that i'm happy just a tiny little bit left to do and then this field is all done yeah that bit there oh. sometimes the maneuverability of this does go against it i mean just turning that away then to turn around uh and and not lifting or yeah turning it before i lifted it and it was uh it turned it out of the way of that tuft but all good that's worked really well and look at that field that is just immense all of those rows of grass on here ready to be tethered this little reform is fantastic just getting out of the gate here and uh, just having a look at the barley this is growing very nicely oh this is this is looking like a very healthy crop i can't help but think we're gonna have a better harvest this year than we had last year oh let's back this off just managed to avoid the gate there that was lucky right uh avoid the chickens they tend to bunch up towards the uh chicken coop when they see the tractor coming they're getting very aware the chickens they're they're quite easy to avoid at the moment uh there we go lower that down and yeah i think a front mower and a new uh header might be great things for us to get on the farm because this this little old tedder as I said, has been here for a very long time on the farm now. And uh, I think there's a new uh, Hotinger tether that, uh, that's available that we might be able to use uh, that would go a long way for us on here. All right. With chickens. And back out into the field. Uh We'll get that to unfold. There we go. And what I need to do again is close this gate. There we are. And then uh, we won't clip it as we're coming around. So we'll turn it on. We'll drop it down. And away we go. Can I get two rows at once with this? I think we were I think we were struggling to do that last time. Nope, that will get two rows just. Um, but I'm thinking a wider one. Well, either one that we can pull behind a mower exactly, which we we've just discussed, or a wider one on here that's gonna do multiple rows at once. Uh either of those might be a really good way to go on the farm. Uh, let me know in the comments exactly uh, which which way you think would be better to go. Whether just getting a wider tether or uh, whether the farm might actually benefit from that front mower with uh, this tether running behind, maybe. So something that was an advantage while we're cutting is turning out to be a bit of a disadvantage while I'm doing the tedding, And that is the maneuverability. I'm struggling in places to make sure that I capture everything. 
for the most part we're able to do two rows at once uh, but you can see here some of these rows are a little bit wider and so i have to go back down to uh, a single row and this is the thing that I'm, I'm finding with this and this is what i was talking about uh, the possibility of getting a bigger tether uh, as we have a larger uh, horsepower capability on this tractor we are able to go uh, a little bit bigger with the tether and uh, getting two or more rows might be really really useful to us with it so uh i don't know at the moment it's uh it's something i am definitely gonna have to have a think about uh, and when we come to do the other fields of hay uh later in the month i think we're probably gonna look and see exactly how we can improve uh, our workflow here on the farm with this headland's just about all done and it's already beginning to dry out quite nicely we can already see the change in color on the grass so i have no fear that uh, when we come to to get the machinery on here later in the month uh, of how well this will work let's uh see if we can get this done in two rows stick closer to the other row of the outer row but yeah, that is pulling most of those rows together. So it is a case of it's not perfect, um, but we can save ourselves a little bit of time by trying to include as much in each uh, turn up and down the field as we can. I am finding with most of this field that the width between the rows is a little too much to be able to get two rows in at once. Uh, I end up getting about half a row or uh, or sometimes I do manage to get two rows depending on how close I've cut them uh, but it's it's not close enough for most of the field for me to be able to do two rows at once so definitely I think a wider tether would be the order of the day if we didn't put a front mower I think maybe the thing to go and do is to go and check out exactly how uh expensive it is to do that to to go and get a new tether versus uh adding a or oh, a new tether and a front mower um versus uh just getting the new tether whether it would uh would be a, a big difference in price especially considering what my current setup is uh, i also have a feeling that i might be able to get a front mower and uh and then then have uh with a, enough power left over for this tractor to be able to then also get a uh a, do a, a front and uh rear mowing combo with this uh with our current mower so yeah a lot of it i think is going to be depending on and looking at it and seeing how much it is worth uh investing in that kind of setup uh it'll be really interesting and one thing's for sure doing the rest of the fields this month i don't think we're going to be doing it this way i think we're going to be finding a way to be much more efficient at uh, at getting this job done the more i ponder this the more i think just adding a front mower would be the way to go we have very little horsepower requirements on this tether uh, adding a front mower for when we're doing this job would uh, speed things up immensely. We'd have to do one pass uh, around the whole field and, uh, and we'd be tedding as we went. Uh, but more importantly, adding a front mower while we're doing the silage uh, would mean we could have a front and a rear mower and cut it in half the time. Uh, as long as we get one that will winrow as well uh, in the same way as our uh, mower does at the moment our rear mower does at the moment then we would end up with uh, a big time saving on that job as well so uh, i think that's what i'm gonna go and speak to the shop about and uh, and see what they say uh, maybe we can get something that will work with this tractor with our existing mower and with our existing tether and will just save us time all round
just a tiny little section up the top corner of the field here and that will finish this off that is really good this this little tractor as i said it is it is not yet failed to impress me at all it is such a cracking little addition to the farm works so well on everything that we've needed it to do and uh is is just going to continue to to work wonders here i think i am going to go and uh see if we can get something for this front three point uh there should be a mower so uh i might do a vlog comparing uh that setup to this setup uh in the near future oh what are you doing you're gonna move or am i gonna have to go around you no you're just wanting to stand there right i have to shoot the chickens out the way uh so that i can go and put this piece of kit back I mean, what are you up to? Uh, for now, though, I'm going to leave this vlog here. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below. Follow on Twitch to watch live. And for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.